नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ दीपक कुमार रथ है वेलकम यू टू द डिजिटल मीडिया ऑफ उद इंडिया टूडे इन इंडिया थिंग्स आई विल स्पीक अबाउट हाउ द पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स आर थ्रोइंग एंड अटैकिंग पॉलिटिकल स्टेटमेंट्स एगेंस्ट ईच अदर फॉर गेटिंग ऑल एथिक्स एंड फ्रेंड्स यू ऑल नो दैट द इलेक्शन कमीशन हैज ऑलरेडी issued so called notices to congress leader supriya srinete and bhartiya janata party's dilip ghosh over derogatory remarks against actor kangana ranawat and bengal chief minister mamta banerjee respectively i must tell you that against this backdrop it is up to discuss the rising level of using inappropriate language in politics as the lok sabha elections draw nearer the tongues of many politicians seem to slip further and further they are indulging in rhetoric that not only raises eyebrows but also poses a threat to the integrity of the nation in electoral rallies politicians are crossing boundaries of decency sophistication and morality to undermine their opponents in front of the public eye while opposing wrong doings openly and presenting one's electoral issues effectively are imperative for nation building politicians must refrain from using inappropriate inflammatory and undisciplined language in their discourse and now the question arises is the use of uncivil language truly justifiable in the world's largest democracy following the announcement of election dates with the escalation of electoral fervor the statement of politicians have become sharper and more trivial the restrained language and disciplined discourse are all but disappearing from our country's politics friends mr rahul gandhi's remarks about fighting against shakti depict intentions of tarnishing religious values connected with shakti serving nefarious in- intentions to create animosity among religious communities you all know that initially Lalu Prasad Yadav's allegation against Prime Minister Narendra Modi regarding his family have become a potent weapon for the BJP. Congress leader Supriya Srinath's derogatory comment accompanying a photo of actress Kangana Ranawat has turned into an insult to women's empowerment. Rahul Gandhi's comments about EVMs have prompted demands for action against him from the election commission stating that such information and false propaganda without verifying facts is detrimental to the national integrity and democratic values misleading comments about evms and the election commission have been made with intention of creating public disorder as the lok sabha election progress a wave of controversial statements has swept through the political arena the use of dignified language and decorum in our country's politics is essential and in a democracy the strength of a leader lies in the solidity of the language and words after independence as changes occurred in politics the language and style of accusations and counter accusations of politicians also evolved and today you see some political leaders mock their opposition with terms like pappu while some opposition leaders refer to prime minister modi as chor or chai wala i must ask is there any semblance of decorum left in our country politics and these politicians hardly consider the 
impact of their crude language on their party and the trend of making low level light and cheap remarks in indian politics has been prevalent for quite some time after all we claim ourselves to be, to be the oldest democracy in the world whether these things really fit with the system no however in last two decades this trend has taken on a grotesque form and at this time when ramon or loya you must have remembered when ramon or loya referred to indira gandhi as a gungi gudiya there were control considerable controversy and many opposed loya statement also that time and again congress president Kharge also made some remarks and his statement likening PM Modi to Ravana has been widely discussed and you also have remembered that Manishankar Iyer made the most derogatory remarks he openly used derogatory words such as nits and katil for prime minister Narendra Modi and this reflects his frustration in the case of bitter and incorrect statements the list of congress leaders is quite long whether it's adhir ranjan or digvijay singh or sanjay nurupam and priyanka gandhi not only that friends aam aadmi party leader and delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal has crossed all limits and former chief minister of jammu and kashmir farooq abdullah he described evm as thieves all of them used extremely inappropriate words to take advantage revealing their mockery and agitation but the interesting thing is that modi and his party have used such uncivilized words and comments for their benefit also they have created an atmosphere against those who use such words and to speak against them before their millions of supporters today the term chai wala has become a symbol of respect for hard working people and politics is now entrenched in a race to attract voters and bring them to one side often at the expense of decency and these politicians they are indulging in such term thrills and immediate electoral gains urgently need self reflection and criticizing various parties and politicians with restrained language is the beauty of this country's democracy and the decorum and restraint in language are the foundation of india's democracy while it is possible to garner temporary publicity and headlines with unruly language there are many examples from the past that shows that the public forgets such politicians soon and politicians must maintain the decorum and restraint of language at all times while it's time for election promises and boasting of achievements it's also time to refrain from language lacking in the decorum and bitterness friend i must tell you here one thing the people of india or the citizen of india will always remember atal bihari bajpayee for his great statesmanship and for his great statesman we must learn from our leaders big leaders who really follow and respect the norms of democracy friends that's all for today stay tuned with uday india and subscribe to uday india that's all for the day